name, so I'm sorry. Oh, that. do you? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Shelby and I are back again to do round two. So thank you for your notes that I just found and printed out. So I've just had a quick squiz of them. And uh, I we just had a quick look at the weather over there in Reading, Pennsylvania. And, you know, it's going to be a bit of a warm one today, but that's okay. I'm going to take off my rings, actually, or I'll be whacking Shelby around more than energetically. So... <laughs> Oops. So that's let's right. have a look. Yeah, that's right. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> okay. How are your fingernails? Yeah, I think my fingernails. Yeah, because I think there's going to be some structural stuff. So, okay. So, so tapping into your energy, Michelle. I'm now 100% Michelle in all timelines and dimensions. And hold. And hold. Beautiful. In case you're wondering, one of them's foxes. <laughs> the other one's a little cartoon character, but only his feet are visible. <laughs> but the foxes are adorable. Okay. Okay, so I've got your list of things here, so I'll just keep on working from the biggest priority to the other, and obviously things are often connected anyway, so let's go. Okay. So we didn't even get very far. So firstly, they're speaking your truth. Like it's it's the priority. Let me see if that's connected to any of the physical stuff you've got going on. Potentially the shoulder pain. Hmm. Lymph node behind your right ear. And the achy knees. Interesting. Okay. So I need a biro. Okay. So obviously speaking your truth means something fairly major to you. So we'll go and see why. Where do we need to go first? Do we need to just go into celestial circuit, uh, adrenals, survival, deep survival? No. Okay, so let's go find out why. Okay, so there's something in the heart healing manual we need. Okay, so it's when you're speaking your truth, part of your, your energy on the buddhic plane, so there's all different levels of our energy and uh, sort of going from physical to emotional to mental to buddhic to atmic to uh, monadic to adi. So it's getting jammed, the buddhic plane and the physical plane are getting a mismatch. So when you, and this is probably when you're not speaking your truth or when you're feeling the vibe back at you when you are speaking your truth and it's not it there's a mismatch there so it's on the spiritual love level where it's getting jammed so that messes with your heart chakra which is obviously about self-love self-worth self-acceptance especially in the feeling world. So it's very much about healthy, loving relationships. But also being able to accept those personal challenges and move on from them once you've learnt the lesson. But it's also to do with love at, at, at its highest power. But the primary fears associated with that heart chakra are fear of loneliness, fear of commitment, being true to one's heart, betrayal, emotional weakness and emotional pain. <laughs> and once again, I'm feeling that uh, connection in that heart. I'm feeling really heavy in there for you. Or I, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling that energy. Okay. Now I'm going to work out where you are on the map of consciousness in relation to 
uh, being able to say what you need when you need to say it without any guilt. You know, I think the big thing about being able to say your truth is being able to do it knowing it's your truth. And then it doesn't matter what comes back at you, which is really, really hard. Because when you get people and it doesn't matter who they are, when they're uh, saying with a real level of intensity back at you the opposite or, or um, an alternate point of view that does not match match our truth, our energy, it's really harsh on our, on our level of self-worth, self-belief, which is why heart chakra... Okay. So funnily enough, there's a fear. So there's a fear of disappointing, a fear of denying yourself, a fear of, uh, of feeling anxious about even speaking your truth. Yeah. And someone has made you feel ashamed at some stage about actually speaking your truth. So we need to clear whatever that energy is stuck in there as well. Yeah, I think it's throwing your whole body out of kilter as well. So, I'll just... Okay, so in relation to speaking your truth. Mm -hmm. It's funny, even just feeling that, I can feel this side automatically tighten up. So, there's a right-sided gate and it's the right shoulder. So, energetically, your, your body wants to go into fight to just speak up for yourself. So right gate let's check these because that'll be throwing your um, knees out as well hold hold let's check popliteus so let the leg fall out hold the leg down don't let me lift up mm. so interestingly popliteus muscle hold out it's behind the knee it's sort of like on a diagonal behind the knee and it supports that knee joint from behind uh, but it relates to the gallbladder meridian and gallbladder can also create shoulder pain. So I'm going to stack in that combo. Hold. And this combo. Hold. Okay. Right, so we've got a big gate here. We've got both sides. Not one, So your body doesn't want to relax. So in relation to speaking your truth, you're working really, really hard to do it. Yeah, your brain would just rather run away than actually do it because of the repercussions associated with it, but working really hard to do it. Okay, so what do we need to do to move on? There's still something else in the heart healing manual. Okay. Okay, so psychoneural points. Okay, so 11s on the knees, 14s on top of the shoulders, 15s on top of the shoulders. Okay, so which is the priority to start with? The 11s on the knees. Okay. Yeah, okay. So these ones um, energetically are about your feelings about how you relate to value within a society. Sort of interesting. Not like anything's going on on the planet at the moment that, uh, <laughs> that we all have an opinion about. <laughs> and you have every second country in the world saying whether you're essential or not, or whether your business is worthy to be open and making money. There's a lot of stuff going on. Mm. I might also check uh, the spiritual connection as well. Yeah, right. 
So it's about follow through, moving forward. Uh, so it's almost like to speak your truth, you need incentive, but it's like, no, 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 you don't need incentive. You, are, you have that God-given right to speak your truth, just being here on the planet. We are allowed to be human. We are allowed to speak our truth. And just because someone doesn't agree with it doesn't mean it's wrong either. They can be two truths for many things. Maybe not in everything, but in some things. So this little guy up here is escape submission freeze, wanting to run away. Just attaching that to that energy about wanting to feel. And obviously speaking your truth, um, part of the confidence comes from really, you know, not caring what other people think. And that's a tough one. I, and I don't know whether some people have it. Do you have people in your family who either have that or they don't? Mm -hmm. Some people can just speak their truth without any seeming guilt or stress or... Yeah, my... Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. My uh, mum is at the point where she doesn't care how yeah. her words impact people at yeah. the moment. And my sister doesn't always understand how her words impact people. Right. Okay. But she has autism and a mental disability on yeah. her side to justify that. Yeah. And if she realises it's done harm, she is remorseful and apologises. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It's bizarre, isn't it? I sort mm. of... Because I, I remember years ago I was uh, teaching this woman kinesiology and she... And she came out and said, I hate my son. <laughs> oh, wow. She just said it. And of course, I think the room had like eight women in it, and I think probably half of them were mothers. So of course, everyone's hackles got up and she of became course. the pariah in the room. And I'm like, no, 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 this is, this is her truth. And I, I said, what do you mean by that? And she said, well, you know, I love him as a person, but man, I hate what he does all the time. Fair. Yeah. And, you know, so of course, she didn't really hate him. Yeah. Thank goodness. But sometimes we just say stuff because that's mm -hmm. what's in our mind. Anyway, I'm sure that's not what you're talking about, Michelle. But, um, yeah, so the next one we're going to do is number 14, which is on the top of the shoulders. So this one is about how you handle authority in either active or passive roles. So, yeah. So let's have a look at that one. Oh, Shelby's are a bit tender. <laughs> That muscle is the supraspinatus, and the supraspinatus relates to the central meridian which feeds your conscious brain. So when the conscious brain is overloaded, it can be a bit tender, but it's also a gallbladder point. And gallbladder is about externalized rage, anger, frustration, but it can be anything up that meridian as well. Nope, need something else. Okay, we might run that gallbladder meridian. So just releasing any frustration, rage, anger at anyone who's ever made you feel less than for speaking your truth. I am entitled to be here on the planet speaking my truth. Entitled to be here on the planet speaking my truth. I am proud to speak my truth. I am proud to speak my truth. I'm proud to speak my truth. So you can see because that meridian runs all the way from the head and there's quite a few points here all the way down to the second toe the second outside toe uh, that's the meridian linked in with things like sciatic pain and a lot of foot pain because it sort of runs along the perineus at the side of the leg so if that muscle is too tight that can be pulling the muscles out associated with our knees Perineus, make your leg fall down and hold. Beautiful. And 
fold down. Excellent. It's wanting to run away again, escape submission freeze. Okay, so now we're going into the fit number 15, also on the shoulder. This one's a little bit more towards the back on the sides, and it's to do with holding back on emotional expression, suffering in silence. Okay, that could be part of it as well. So, a bit more in behind the shoulders. bit tender on you as well, Shelby. Just a little. Just a little. Do you girls have some nice relaxing things booked in next week? We're getting our nails done on Wednesday, I think. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about seeing if we could book in for a double massage, but... Oh, no. wait, Tasha's only working on Monday. Yeah, maybe we can so get it a massage. Work, work. Nice. Yeah, she took most of the week off. So maybe we can get something done. That would be nice. How oh, fabulous. So in behind the shoulder blades, we're looking Following, yeah, it's about um, knowing that you can give and receive with guidance and it's about following through on what is right for you. So those little bones in there as well as those psychoneural points both make sense as well.